the continuation we are doing. So what we have, we'll just revise it, what we did. Can anyone of you let me know what we have learned? Only this slide, nothing else. Can you better? What you can see in this slide? Yes, girls, can anyone of you explain? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, Rita. In this picture, we, we can see pollen grains of stigma. No, in pollen grains sti on stigma. Rita, pollen grains are the male cell, right? And stigma is the part of the female reproductive organ. Yes or no? Yes. So statement is on stigma. Got it? This is... This is stigma. Can you see this? This portion is stigma. And it has got all this structure which are very sticky, gummy, gummy structures. What are these? Gummy structures, like gum. And on top of that, what happens? All pollens get stuck to this stigma, you know? They stick to this stigma. And then what happens? Look over here. Then what happens? This is what happens. Can you see this? This is pollen on stigma and then they produce this pollen tube. What do they produce with it? Pollen. pollen tube. Got it now? So we saw this pollen grains are on stigma, on stigma, and they are germinating in the style. Now this portion is what? This style. And then they reach the ovary. You have got my point now? Yes. They settle on the stigma and they produce a tube in the style to reach the ovary. And then they fertilize, okay? Now, this formation of the tube is called as, what it is called as, Vita? Germination. What it is called as? Germination. Germination. Okay. So, tube, this tube, what you get over here, can you see this tubes from the pollen? These are pollen tubes. Okay. And this form, pollens on the stigma, this. This thing. This pollen on the stigma, you can see this. This process is known as pollination. What it is, Peter? Say pollination. Got it now? Pollination. After pollination, we have fertilization. Okay? Now we see. These are pollen grains. Or you can say male gamut. What are they, Vita? Pollen grains? Yes. They are male gamut. What are they? Male gamut. Male gamut. So, from where we get this male gamut? From anther. Can you see this over here? Anther. So, see, this anther is giving out this male gamut. And where it is going? Stigma. What is this portion known as? Stigma. Stigma. Okay. From stigma, it goes down and makes a pollen tube, right? Right, Vita? See, it is becoming pollen tube and then it is reaching the ovary. Ovary. And then it fertilizes. This is the process. Now, what is the female gamut? What is the female gamut, Vita? Ovule, XL. What is the female gamut? XL ovule. or ovule. This is how it looks like. See, the tube is coming from top, is going down, and then it fuses with the excel. And this is called as fertilization. Okay. Okay, beta. This is the process. This is the process. <laughs> What happened? Please put off your mic, Peter. 
Now these are flowers. This one. These are flowers. Mature plant flowers. Now we'll take one flower over here and the other flower of the same plant. What happens? These pulps or even say male gametes from this flower it goes to the female body. Yes? That is a stigma. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Stigma. So what is this process known as? Pollination. So what is pollination actually? It is the transfer of pollen grains to the stigma of the female part, of the female body. Right? So male cell is getting transferred to the female organ. That is called as pollination. After pollination, what happens? This happens. Fertilization. After we will work in detail, don't worry about it. But I just want to tell you how it goes step by step. First is pollination and then fertilization. Any problem so far? No, ma'am. After fertilization, what we get? Fruits. Do you see this? After fertilization, we get fruits. From fruits, what we get, Peter? Seeds. And from seeds, what we get? New plant. New plant. You understood the cycle? All of you understood the cycle, better? How it forms? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Now we'll see all these stages one by one. Yes. Does one of you start reading? What is all about Ma pollination? Can I? Yeah, sure, better. Pollination. Transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma of a flower is known as pollination. Is the step is the first step in the process of seed formation. Two types, self-pollination, cross-pollination. Pollen grains are transferred from anther to the stigma of the same flower. Cross-pollination. Pollen grains are transferred from anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower of same kind, different plants. Did you understand or not? Do you understand? Yes. So this is self pollination. Can I see over here? This is a stigma. This one is stigma. Okay. And these are anthers. From anthers, pollens get deposited on stigma of the same flower. This is self pollination. You understood? Yes. Because the same flower is pollinating. Whereas, if I get two flowers, this is a one flower, the other flower will have only anthers, that is male flower. Then from, this is one and this is two the male flower will give rise to pollens, isn't it? This pollens will come on the flower of, come on to another flower, but of the same species, but not the same flower, okay? Another flower. This is called as cross-pollination, when two flowers are involved. In this case, in this case, only one flower is involved, right? Did you understand that? In self pollination, yes. one flower is involved. In cross pollination, two flowers are involved. Any problem? Any no, ma'am. No, ma so, you understood this? What is happening in pollination? Please, one of you, please explain. Don't read it. Don't read whatever is kept on the slide. Please, you can give your own version. 
Who will explain pollination? Ma'am, can you give us two minutes? Sure, sure, but take your time. It should be your version. You can how you explain to someone. This is why how you have to do it. Anyone can give it a try. Yes, in between, can anyone else try it? She wanted two minutes. But in the meantime, can anyone give it a try? Yes, girls. Hello. Yes. Yes, start explaining. Can I? Yeah, sure. Pollen grains are transferred to stigma is called pollination. Okay, good. What is self pollination? What is self pollination? Hello. What is self pollination, Beta? Ma'am, just two minutes. What happened? There's nothing but it's very simple. What happens in self pollination? Girls, hello, girls. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, what happens in self pollination? Yes, pollen grains are transferred. You have to just only say pollination, we know. Now you say what is self and what is cross, that's it. Pollination yeah. is a transfer of pollen to stigma that we already know, right? We already explained. But what is self and what is cross? In self, only one flower is involved. Where is in cross, two flowers are involved, that's it. Do you understand what I said just now? Yes. Yes. So what is the problem, Bitter? You all took two minutes. Rather five minutes, I will say. So self pollination is what? Self is within themselves. That is called a self. Cross means, you know, cross two. So self is one flower and cross is two flowers. Any problem so far? Now, did you understand? Yes, ma'am. See, now you can understand. In this case, this is self pollination. Okay, because it is happening in one flower. This is one flower. Understood? Hello? Yes. yes. One flower. So what is happening? That this is a stigma is taking the pollens of the anther which is 
already there in the same flower. So this is self. What it is self? Whereas in this case, that is the second one. This is one flower. And here how many flowers we have? One and two. Right? So what is happening? This anther, the pollen, is getting settled on the stigma of another flower. Can you see this? It is it is not settling on the stigma of the same flower, but it is settling on the stigma of another flower. Do you understand? Hello, do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So again, I repeat, how many flowers in this? One. How many flowers in this? Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. So self, one, cross two. Any problem regarding this slide? No, ma'am. I will see agents of pollination. How pollination takes place? Please read. Agents of pollination. Wind. Wind blows away pollen grains from the anthers of one flower to the stigma of another flower. Futures, futures of flowers. Small, not brightly colored, do not produce nectar. Features of pollen grains. Very light produced in large numbers. Examples, pollination in wheat and maize, rice and maize. Okay, thank you. Now, the very first agent of pollinations, they are wind. With the wind, the pollen grains are blown away. By wind, the pollen grains are blown away and they settle on the stigma. Are we doing this pollination in nature? No, right? Nature is taking its cause. It is happening on its own. So one of the agents for pollination is wind, air, you can say. What it is doing? It is blowing away the pollen grains. Obviously we know, where do we get pollen grains? And thus. And where it is taking? To stigma so that we can get the pollen tube. Okay, how these flowers look like? These flowers are very small, they don't look so good and they do not produce any juice, that is nectar. So bees don't come, bees, insects, they don't go to those uh, flowers because they don't look good, they are not brightly colored, so insects don't go. And these pollen grains, are very, very light, so they can be blown away by the wind. And obviously, we should know that they are produced in huge number, large number. Hope you have understood. Yes. Okay. Now, you can see this. Let me see. This is pollination. Not pollination. This is the anther. These are all pollens. Can you see this cloud of pollens? These are pollens. Okay? So you can see it's fume like, it's a cloud like. Can you see this cloud? This is all pollens. Mm -hmm. Same thing you can see over here. All these are pollens. You can see this cloud, these dot like structures, these are all pollens. You understood now? So these are yes. males. What are they? Males. This is how it happens in nature. We have not observed it. But when sometime when we meet, I will try to show you all these activities. Yes. 
Now the second agent for pollination is please read. Water. Pollen grains are released into the water are carried out by water current or uh, to other flowers. Example aquatic plants such as sea grass and Wellesneria. Thank you. So what's water? Pollen grains. Now obviously if I'm talking about water, that means I'm talking about the plant which is in water. Am I right? Yes. Yes. So plants in water are called as aquatic plants. Is it okay? Yes. 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 So what are we talking about? Aquatic plants. The plants which are living in water because now all these carriers, it is water. It is an agent. Water is an agent. For example, sea grass and valisneria. So obviously when the plant is in water, so pollen grain has to be released in water. Is it fine? Like, am I right? The pollen grain has to be released in water, right? And with water current, it reaches the other flowers and it pollinates. Okay? This is one plant, this is an aquatic plant. See, so this is how it forms. See over here? This is male plant and this is a female plant. And all these are pollen. Can yeah. you see this? Hello? Can you see the pollen? Yes. 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 No. Yes. yes. Tell me. I'm your voice. Why is it thing in between? Okay. It will come. It will come. Just your be with me for some time. In between. Okay, just be with me for some time, it will become okay. It happens in between. Is it fine now? Yes. Is it coming okay now? Okay. Hello, the one who was complaining? What's your name, Bitter? Hello? Nayani Modesa. Okay, Modesa, am I audible now? Nayani Yes, Modesa, am I audible now? Yes. Yes, thank you. You can see this? All these are pollens. Okay, it's happening in water. So I hope you have understood how the pollination takes. Let's take this one. Yes, ma'am. This is the simplest of all. You can see a male flower, you can see a female flower. Male flower has released so many pollens. Can you see this? All these are pollens. It is reaching the female and it pollinates. As simple as that, right? The third agent is. Ma'am, can I read? Yes, Peter. Third agent is insects. Insects visit flowers for nectar. Some pollen grains stick to the body part of these insects. When these insects visit another flower, the pollen grains fall on the stigma. Feathers of flower. Features. Features of flowers. Sweet smell, brightly colored. Petals for diurnal insect example. Yes, yes, diurnal insects. Diurnal insects example: rose, sunflower, white light green petals for nocturnal insects. Nocturnal. Say it again. Nocturnal insects example: jasmine and, and cacti. Reach in nectar. Future fe features of pollen pollen grains. Sticky pollen grains. Thank you. So insects, as uh, as we know, insects get attracted by the colored flowers. Yes, the petals are so colorful, isn't it? 
leaves these colors to be attracted. So when they go to those flowers which are brightly colored, these pollen grains from the anther they stick to the feathers or the wings of the body buds. And when these insects fly to another flower, the pollen grains fall on the stigma and pollination takes place. How come these uh, flowers attract the insects? Because of their sweet smell, because of the brightly colored petals. The insects, which are diurnal, diurnal insects are the one which works during daytime. Diurnal insects are the insects which are very active during daytime. So they go to rose and sunflower. Whereas the other flowers, which are maybe white colored or uh, different dull colored petals, they are generally attract, they are generally attracting the nocturnal insects, the insects which are active during night time. Example, jasmine and cacti. So these are the plants which attract the insects during night time. Why? Because of their white or light dull colored petals. Pollen grains obviously has to be sticky. That's the reason that they stick to the wings of the insects. See over here. Can you see over here? Yes, ma'am. When they are trying to suck the nectar from the, you know, nectar is a juice. I think you know, honey is made by the nectar of the flowers, by the bees, honey bees. You understood? So honey bees are an insect. So when they go to collect the nectar, what happens? The pollens from the anthers stick to the wings of the insects and then it's been carried to another flower and pollination takes place. You can see they always go to brightly colored. You can see over here. What is this? Bee. Honey bee. It's taking nectar. Any problem so far? Any problem so far, better? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. All of you understood nicely? Yes, yes ma'am. So we are going to work on structure of a flower. One by one. Okay. First, we are going to talk about the female reproductive organ. Now, if I ask you, what is written over here, better? Is it written over here? Carpels. 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 What is the other name of carpel? Stigma. 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 No. no. I said, what is the other name of carpel? If you remember. When we start Petals. No, it is pistil bitter. Remember? It is? Yes. Pistil. Now you remember? Yes. So carpal, oblique, pistil. So both are same. You should remember all these things better. At the start of this chapter, I had given you so many times. These both are synonymous. If I say pistil, you should know I'm talking about carpal. So two names, but meaning is the same. So the female reproductive organ is equal to carpal is equal to pistil. Now we will see the parts of the carpal or parts of the pistil. First one is, what is the first one with the? Stigma. Stigma. So I will just, so you can see stigma over here? Yes, yes. ma'am. Stigma? Okay. And here comes stigma. This is, what is the stigma? What is the function of stigma with the? Receive pollen. Pollen grains. All we, all of us know about this. What is the function of stigma? It receives pollen grains. All of you agree with me? Yes. Now down the stigma, 
What is this potion called as? What is this potion called as? Anthor. No better. What I showed. Please check what I'm showing. This green color structure. This one. <laughs> what is this called as? Anthor is this. Anthor is this. Yes, better. What you said? Style. Style. Very style. Very good. So, it is style. So, stigma. First is stigma. Second is style. So, style. What is the function of style, better? Support stigma. Below the style, what we have? Overly. Overly. Very good, very good, very good. Now see how easy it becomes ovary. What is the function of ovary? Protect ovule. Understood? See, this is wrong. Don't take this carpal. We have taken carpal once, that's it. So we will not take this one. Carpal over here. That's not okay. Inside ovule. Sorry, inside ovary. What we have this one? Ovule. Ovule. And after fertilization, ovule becomes seed. You understood now? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So what is ovule? Becomes seed after fertilization. Understood properly? Yes, yes. yes. So this is the female structure. A female reproductive organ we have worked in detail. Again, I repeat. See, what is it? Whatever I say, you say. What is this better? Stigma. Function. Receive pollen grains. Exactly. Allows pollen grains to settle on the stigma. Fine. Good. Now, what is this one? The tube. Style. Style. What is the function? What is the function? Support stigma. Simple. What is the function of style? Support stigma. Then we come to what is this? Ovary. Ovary. What is the function? Support ovule. Support ovule. Protect ovule. Protect ovule, not support. Protect ovule. And what is this? Ovules. Ovules. What is the function? To see to make seed fertilizer. After fertilization. Okay, good. So all of you understand nicely? Yes. So we have done the female reproductive organ. Pollination is over. Now next is fertilization. And can I read? Okay, better. Fertilization. The process of fusion of the male and female gametes to the zygote is called fertilization. After fertilization, the zygote develops into an embryo. The ovule then develops. The ovule then de develops into the seed. You read it wrong, so you have to repeat it, Vita. That's why I said embryo. Embryo, the ovule, ovule then develops into the seed, and the ovary develops into the fruit. What is fertilization? Obviously, it is the fusion of what? Male. Now, what is male beta here? Pollen, right? What is the male? Pollen. Pollen. What is the female? 
Egg. What is the female? Egg. So it's a fusion of pollen and egg. And what they form? Zygote. Zygote. What is this process called as? Fertilization. You all of you understood now? Yes. How you have to remember? Yes. Pollination. Formation of pollen tube. Or placing pollen onto the stigma. And then germination of pollen into pollen tube. It's called as pollination. What about fertilization? When, after pollination, when the male cell and the female cell unite to form zygote, that is called fertilization. So, when does fertilization take place? After pollination. You should remember this. Right? So, after pollination, fertilization takes place. Fertilization has taken place, right? What we have got is yes. zygote. We have got zygote. Now the zygote will not stay like that. It has to develop, isn't it? It has to become big. It has to divide. So when it becomes big, it starts dividing. So what it forms? What it forms with a zygote embryo. embryo. Zygote will then you not understand it. This zygote has formed after it unites with the male and female, right? So male and female shall unite and it forms zygote. What is male? Pollen. What is female? Egg cell. They fuse and form zygote. This much you have you understood or not? Yes. Yes. So zygote will not stay like that. Zygote has to develop. Zygote has to multiply. Zygote has to grow. So, the zygote starts developing and it forms embryo. What it forms with a? Embryo. embryo. So you understood now? I will be showing you in a diagrammatic way later. Okay, ma'am. Then, after fertilization I am talking about, the ovule, which was inside the ovary, it will develop into seed. And the complete ovary will develop into fruit. Have you understood? Yes. 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 Now we'll see over here. This is pollen grain. Stigma is okay? Yes. Pollen yes. Is stigma is okay? This portion is called a style. You agree with me? Yes. You can see the pollen tube down. The yes, ma'am. See this, yes. all of you? Okay. We go one by one, right? The whole thing, this portion, is known as ovary? Yes. Not go into detail, but I'm just going to show you. Inside this, this is an embryo. We have the excel. What are we? Excel. Okay. So this pollen comes and fuses with this axle. And then from zygote, from zygote it forms embryo. So it is all developing inside this. Okay? So, it's a small baby. The baby is growing big in embryo sac. I hope you have understood this much. Yes, yes. ma'am. Again, a bit of revision. What exactly is fertilization? Please start. Fertilization. Who wants to read? The process of fusion. Ma'am, can I? Ma'am, can I? Ma'am, I was reading. Ma'am, one minute. Ma'am, can I? I was reading only. 
Give you a name. 